When we asked you guys online what dishes we should be making when it came to our barbecue week, you threw some curveballs like bread. Yeah, now garlic bread, that would be obvious. We thought, why not do a sweet bread? And we're gonna do an incredible dish, awesome street food, cooked over our embers, it's chimney cake. I have no idea what that is. I don't know how to make it. I'm gonna be useless. Let me show you. So it began in the kitchen because we're lazy. You could do it all outside, knead it by hand, but we want to use the mixer. And into it, we placed flour, mm -hmm. sugar, yeast. And I would say this is twice as much yeast as a regular bread dough. So it's a really, really leavened mixture. We then added in warm milk, three egg yolks, and some melted butter. Knead it all together for a good five minutes until you end up with an elastic dough. It's basically brioche, but with extra yeast. Give it an hour or so to prove. After an hour, your dough looks something like this. And in that hour, we have lit a, a large pan <laughs> full of wood and made a fire. Now, you don't want your logs burning. You need to heat the fire up, burn all the logs, and we left with lovely white embers. So it's still very hot, isn't it? Yeah, super hot at this kind of level, but without all the flames. That you don't want the flames because that'll burn your bread before it cooks it's through. It's an even heat. Yeah, and you can do it with charcoal, or you can even do it inside under a grill. That's how we test the recipe back at the studio before we came here. Ebers, I have a question. Yes. Can you describe to me what chimney cake is? Because I have not seen the thumbnail. <laughs> so it's like sweet bread wrapped around a tube. And traditionally, Eastern European countries, we had it in Prague in the Czech Republic, and it's basically cooked over embers and they keep rotating it, almost like a spit. Mm -hmm. And it cooks like that. Like you were there. I know I was, I can't remember it. To be fair, we were there on a stag do and I did have it on the Sunday morning. You might not remember much of that. I might have been in bed. So what we want to do is roll it out on a floured surface to about the thickness just less than one centimetre, but quite a long piece. There you go, roll that out. Yeah, great. Hmm. So then what you want to do is cut it into pieces, a couple of inches wide, but nice long strips. So just basically tied it up. Because it's a bread dough and you've already kneaded it lots, it's not like a pastry where you don't want to overwork it. So actually all the scraps can be re-rolled. It's an enriched dough, so it's really soft. We'll come back to those in a second, but now for the chimneys. Now, these are our DIY ones, because traditionally they would be like long metal piping and basically they rotate on almost like a spit and then you can, the important thing is, be able to slide the bread off afterwards. This is an aluminium can of beer, basically, that we've emptied, wrapped in tin foil, and that will give us the perfect chimney, no, it's not a cracker, the perfect chimney for you to make your bread around. Next up, a little drizzle of oil and just rub that in and around. Basically, you want that to stick to the tin but not so that it overlaps necessarily. So you're kind of just wrapping it around so they're just touching, yep. but barely overlapping. And then when you get to kind of there, you just want to like attach that one on and just kind of squidge it together. And because it's such a soft dough, it literally just joins like that. Okay. And then pretty much just the weight enables you to completely cover your can in bread. That's what you're looking for. So there is your chimney cake. Now for some flavourings, because at the moment it's just an enriched dough, it's just got the, the sugar, the butter, the milk, the eggs. What we've got here is grassy sugar <laughs> and a little bit of ground cinnamon. Now watch the wind on this one, because if you choke on that, that's a cinnamon challenge. Now you can roll that in our sugar. Okay, you hold that, I'll do this. And because the dough is still quite wet, a lot of it will stick because it is that soft brioche dough. Can I get in yeah, there? Yeah, get in there. Make yeah. sure it's got a full covering. And then basically you want to cook this under a medium heat, if you're doing it under the grill or over a medium heat, for about eight to 10 minutes, rotating it regularly to get a nice golden color. The bread will crisp up on the outside and cook. The sugar starts to caramelize, but it cooks all the way through because the metal gets hot as well. Now to do that, we kind of need to put it on a stick. So what we've got, or one of these. Okay, barbecue this, skewer. This will be interesting, because I probably should have done this first. We're in. Decent. So the last check, just to make sure that all the bread is sugared and coated, and then we literally hold it over the heat, just like you would a marshmallow when you're toasting it, and you just keep rotating for eight to 10 minutes. So when I um, read through some of the suggestions, from you guys, um, 
I instantly, as soon as people were saying bread, I was instantly thinking of Jamie's leveled up garlic bread. Pluggy, yep. plug, 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 plug. Link in the description. Which we cooked in the oven in level up, but you could equally just put it on the side here and cook it in the embers in the tin foil. Delish. Tell you what though, this chimney cake, I think could potentially um, make me win barbecues for the rest of my life. So that's kind of what you're looking for. It's starting to smell like bread. We've got some amazing caramelization yeah, as the sugar say, goes. Sugar and the uh, cinnamon smell amazing. What you want to do is keep cooking it until you're happy that it's golden all over and crispy and then leave it to cool for five minutes or so just so you can handle it because obviously it'll be hot sugar. And now for the moment of truth. <laughs> because of the tin and because we've left the, the cracker bits like this, we should be able to twist the whole thing. Are you nervous? Twist rather than pull and the whole thing should come out. And that is a chimney cake. You can see right the way through it. Roll it again in your cinnamon sugar. I'm just going to pick this tiny bit off the bottom so that it levels it up so we can stand it up because we want to stand it like a chimney. We're going to do so in our service bowl, but when we saw these in Prague, they were served sometimes with a drizzle of chocolate sauce. And it's so warm out here, do you want to hold that? Yeah. That our bar of chocolate became a bag of chocolate. Yeah. So I've snipped the top off and we're going to see what happens. At home, obviously, you just melt it in a microwave or over a bain-marie, or put the pan over the barbecue. But we should almost have our very own piping bag. Do you think this is tempered? <laughs> I'm amazed it's done anything. And we've got some toasted hazelnuts. And there we go. That is our cinnamon sugar chimney cake sorted. <laughs> This is just a knock the chimney down, tear and share job, yeah? I think so. And hopefully it should break apart into those strips though. Oh yes. Come on, James. I'm going here. Yeah, should we get some chocolate? This is great. I still don't remember eating it in Prague, but <laughs> it's fantastic. So it's got the sweetness and the crunch and the sugar. Oh. But inside a slight soft bit of bread as well. It's amazing that you can get those results from a barbecue. As long as you get your coals right, whether it's wood or charcoal, and you're cooking on the embers so you don't have the flames. If you have the flames, you're just going to burn it. What you want to do is cook it. Uh-oh, chocolate. I'm quite messy, I'm going to need a towelette. But if you would like the recipe, which I strongly advise you to go and have a look at, it's at sortedfood.com. Everything you need step by step. and how to impress your mates at the next barbecue you're hosting. And talking of impressing mates, come Sunday, we've got a big night in and we are cooking at the table. We are, and all you vegetarians, you are gonna love us on Sunday, so make Fact. sure that you tune in for that. I'm winking underneath these glasses, but you just can't see. You know what? It's got an eye, isn't it? Click on the left if you missed our last video or click on the right video for one of our favourites.